Hey, we're here at Gunners Firearms with Maggie. Maggie, it's always so good to see you. Welcome back, Mark. Thank Hi, you everybody. So much. Welcome One of my to Gunners. Places. Hey. Hey, uh, speaking of being at the gun store, I was down in the Ozarks this week and I went into a gun store to buy ammo. And while I was at the gun store to buy ammo, my American Express got declined. What the heck? I know, at the gun store. But there's, you know, I haven't called them yet to see like, well, what's going on? Why did my American Express get declined? But uh, the guy at the register said, well, you know, it's probably because you're trying to use it at a gun store and they're not going to let you spend it at a gun store. Um, and I thought, is that, you know, because I know that a lot of credit card companies have introduced like red flag things, you know, where there are you know, certain credit cards, certain banks specifically, if I go buy a thousand rounds of ammo, then it's going to decline it and red flag me. Now, I wouldn't buy a thousand rounds, but I was still buying ammo. So um, I was just being that you're kind of dealing with this on a day to day. What? What's up? So <laughs> it, it seems to depend on the merchant service account that the stores use. Um, their processing company. It's also the banks and who holds the credit card. Um, uh, so the company that owns the credit card may or may not flag charges that seem unusual. And I've seen it happen mostly on out of state purchases. People that make a purchase online to be shipped local to them for pickup and it is a very large sum of money in a state that you don't currently reside in. And they see your purchase history right around here and they're like, okay, we see the trend that this is where they're staying, this is what they're doing, and this is their personal habits. And then all of a sudden, here's this large, or a, a sizable chunk of change that comes out of this account uh, and it's and someplace you're not usually or so it, it can get flagged and mm -hmm. i have had cards declined because the banks are like wait a minute we're flagging this as fraud someone's stolen your credit card and is trying to make a purchase or straw purchase without you knowing about it so do you think it's more about so it's uh, so like for example if i called a if you had, uh, an ATV company and I bought a four wheeler in Kentucky for to be shipped to me. Oh yeah, it's yeah. more. It's not about what you're buying. It's about where you're buying. I Is think. I think it might be yeah. because when I have taken the little credit card slip that says declined and I hand it to the customer and they're like, why is this happening to me? I know there's money there. I Would you like to see my bank account in the last six months of my bank? I'm like, no, nah, I don't need that, man. Just but it's usually out of town, folks. Call your card holder, your credit card company and say, hey, this is me. I promise I am who I say I am. They're going to give you the security questions or whatever they're they're told mm -hmm. to ask you um, and you're going to say, yes, I am authorizing this purchase, but you can also ask, why was this purchase mm -hmm. declined when I know that's there? So, it, but you haven't ran into really anybody, I mean, have you seen any trend where somebody's like, Local from locals, where it, that, yeah, where it won't work because it's a gun store or, is it, uh, or no? I, and sometimes too, like, for all I know, there's some actually something wrong. Like, like maybe it's expired. I don't know. Yeah. I, I actually I I did look. I just like well, that's weird. You know. Yeah. And, and then like, just went to the next credit card. I that's that's happened before too. Like I know this should work. Um, and then the guy will come back or the lady will come back and go, oh well, it turns out I hadn't activated my new card and I'm still carrying my old card around with me. Mm -hmm. I've, that's happened. Because I've done that too. Uh, yeah. I truthfully. It hasn't happened to me yet, personally. I've seen it happen to other people. I do not know what their banks are telling them if they even call to ask why it was declined. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, just like yourself, will write it off as, wow, that's weird. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's try just, another card. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And they don't think anything <laughs> of it and they just keep going. And then this rumor keeps going that, oh, it's, it's just because it was at a gun, gun store. store. But you didn't 
call the credit card uh -huh. company, so you cannot confirm that it no. that is the reason. <laughs> so now we still have this rumor that's going around. Um, so until someone can verify Bye. that for me, and I all I've got is conjectures and yeah. rumor and somebody else's opinion. So well, I'll call the credit card company. See and, what they say about, about they that. Say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm curious too. Uh, so tap to pay has a limit on some of those cards. How much is allowed to be tapped to pay? And I am guessing it's because uh, if you have your card with a tap to pay app or your phone with a tap to pay app, I think there are instances where people are have some sort of card reader or something mm -hmm. and can siphon some money out of an account very quickly that shouldn't shouldn't be there uh, shouldn't be theirs to take right, right so if that's the case you know there is a limit on some of those cards i've seen some of those declined and they're like i know i've got the money on it but as soon as you slide the chip in or uh, swipe the stripe on the back it usually works fine mm -hmm. so sometimes it's just the method of payment like tap to pay versus insert the chip versus swipe the magnetic strip yeah um in europe like, everything's tap to pay seems like, like it was really weird because i never use tap to pay ever I, I, my, my debit card doesn't even have it <laughs> yes and, and they like we'll just tap and i i'm like i can and then you have to break out like the old machine you know, the knuckle buster. Like, oh, I'm American here. Insert it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, everybody does things differently. That's right. That's and right. And I tell you, those little card reader things, no matter how many different stores you go to, it's always, yeah. everybody's got a do. different one. And I'm just like, all right, where, where am I tapping on this? <laughs> Wait for the little thing to light up somewhere on it. Uh, read the machine. <laughs> Let me say this, is there a bigger trend in, okay, because if, you know, there is a, now I, I do know that there are certain banks that will red flag. Uh, I'm yeah, sure yeah, there, yeah, there yeah, are. There are. I mean, because it's, at least it's been reported that there are in, in the news. Um, How, because you can't believe everything. You what's the, the rest of, right? <laughs> I mean, I have a really large <laughs> dose of skepticism for the right, news. Right, right, right. I mean, um, you're getting this much of a story that's mm -hmm. huge so where's the rest of it um have you seen a bigger trend in people using cash there is almost always a discount for cash at small gun stores all right so uh in some it's really more about just it's because you get rid of the credit card fees yes you get, and those so it's really more about that not about people it really is. Being like, well, I don't want the government, no. On new guns, the margins are so, so tiny anyway. And in some cases, uh, it sucks. We're making less than a transfer fee for new guns. I mean, we might make $5 on a gun. And if that's the only gun we sold that day, whoop de doo we made five <laughs> freaking dollars. But you sold this new gun. Yes, but it cost me. Plus the shipping, plus <laughs> everything else to get it here. Day. It is an awful day. And, uh, and uh, we are kind of in this lull of a recession uh, that you just, nobody is coming in to purchase. Everyone is coming in to sell. <laughs>